Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here. My name is Shonda. If you don't know me, I want to welcome you today to this spiritual conscious community. This community is a community just based on rehabilitation. Those of us that may be recovering from a relationship, toxic relationships, or maybe we have been through toxic situations or maybe even in toxic environments. And this community is just solely based to give you just one word that you can stand on to realign and renew your mind in the things of God. So I want to welcome you so much today. And if you are new, please subscribe and click that bell so that we can stay connected on a regular basis. And those of you who always turn in, uh, tune in, I can't talk this morning. I am so eternally grateful for you and for everybody that partnered with me by being a member on this channel to help get this message out to the masses of people. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. And I just want to mention too that I was in prayer this morning and God really touched my heart because I literally I had a nightmare last night to be quite honest with you I'm like what is going on God and so as I began to talk to God he kind of shifted my mind out of the anxiety that I was feeling and he kind of centered it on our relationship and God wanted me to let you know that he really wants you to experience what faithfulness in a relationship really is. I would go on to say, or as far as to say, that your relationships that you encounter in the earth in some way is a direct reflection of our relationship with God. See, sometimes we find ourselves getting entangled in relationships with people that are really low spiritually, vibrationally, and mentally. And we continue to, sometimes we find ourselves even putting that person before God. And every time this happens, God shows you that no man should come before him. I know people today that are struggling in their mental and in their spiritual because the person was just so up there on this pedestal above God. And I want to go on to say that God wants us to have healthy connections and relationships. He wants us to experience what he put out here for us to experience in this proper order and sequence. But every relationship, I would say, that's really meaningful to you is a direct reflection of our relationship with God. Do we call God just when we need something? Do we speak to him just every once in a while? Do we make it a priority to make sure that God is always in our mind and in our hearts? Do we take the time to really spend time with him and nurture that relationship? If I look on your feed today with your apps and the things that you've been looking at today, would the first app be something that God has told you through his word? Or is it something that he has given you to read and meditate? on so that you could begin to implant that in the hollows of your subconscious mind so that it could go ahead and anchor itself in your heart. If I was to look at your phone today, what are you looking at? What are you looking at today? What's getting the majority of your time? I want you to know that every relationship that we have is a direct reflection of our relationship with God in some way. And I know sometimes it is easy for us to get caught up in our lives going day to day, making sure we get to work on time, making sure we feed our families. If you're married, making sure you spend the time with your spouse, making sure that you're taking care of yourself. And a lot of us, especially women, we give so much because we're nurturers. And then we look up and we're exhausted after going to work and taking care of our homes and we're so tired that we rarely find time for ourselves. But in the midst of all of that, where is God on your list? And I'm just here today to remind you of that. If you really want to begin to shift your outside environment, where you will begin to have people of high quality and good things, good good spiritual parts, a part of your 
environment that I want to encourage you today to really nurture your relationship with God. Really take the time to know God on an intimate level. Take the time to renew your mind in the things of God. Take the time to talk to him, to speak to him when you are worried, when you are upset, when you are just sad, when you're depressed, when you're anxious, when you're angry, when you're joyful, when you're peaceful, when you're just bursting full of pure bliss. Take the time to talk to God then. Because I tell you the truth, if you really think about it, every relationship that we have, somehow, some way, it reflects our consistency, our dedication, our motivation, our inspiration, our mere connection with God. Because sometimes we say <laughs> that we love God, and I know we all do, but sometimes we slip in our dedication and making that relationship a priority because I want you to know this before I get out of here today. The devil does not want you to make your relationship with God a priority. The devil wants to throw this man or this woman or this job or this opportunity, even sometimes our children, in our faces as a distraction to pull you away from the rhythm of the love that God is shooting out through this atmosphere. He don't want you to anchor your soul in Jesus so that he can come in and save your save you. He don't want you to be a part of a heavenly host of beings that are here to assist you so that you can get your breakthrough. He don't want you to be able to ever have peace in a relationship, whether it be a man and a woman or a friendship or even with your parents or your loved ones or your neighbor. He wants to create chaos and madness and mayhem in our experiences and it's mainly because our relationship with God is not on point the way it should be. And I know sometimes that even myself, I have to check myself throughout my day to make sure that I've spent some time with God. I have to check myself in the morning to make sure that I give God his time first. I have to check myself in the noonday to make sure that I'm talking to my father. I have to check myself at night before I lay my head down to talk to God and thank him for everything that he has done for me. He ain't no genie in a bottle for me. It's a personal relationship with me. And every experience that you experience in your 3D dimension, your physical world, is an extension of what's going on in your inside world. Because believe it or not, baby, I want to just remind you today to thank God, talk to him, nurture that relationship, love on him, receive his infinite love, and be so thankful and so grateful that every day you wake up, you have an opportunity to connect on a deeper level with him that created you. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I still be believing Mm-hmm. Where you at? Right there. <laughs> and you. Bye now.